And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Mikey Report Hurricane Irene update. Uh, yes, I am, of course, Mikey Edwards. This is a special edition, definitely not like our normal ones, because we are tracking Hurricane Irene for uh, that is coming in at this weekend. And we need to find out who, well, who's going to be affected and what we have in st store this weekend, n uh, this coming weekend as to alerts and whatnot. So let's take a look first off as to our threat levels. If I was doing it a little different, uh, if I had done this video a little differently, we'd have video, pictures, videos, and whatnot. So <clears throat> we have really nowhere with the catastrophic threat level. So that's good news. But we do have a, a lot of our major cities across, up and down the eastern seaboard in an extreme threat level, including Boston, New York, Philly, Norfolk, and the Outer Banks. Scranton, you're pretty much you guys are in a high threat level, and I think maybe a good portion of Chester County is under a high threat level currently as well. We There's multiple threats, wind, surge, and uh, storm surges, and um, sur wave surges and rain impacts depend on the track, the size, and the intensity. Right now, we're look. It, it's a category three for 115 mile an hour. Um, and the further west you go, the less uh, threat there is, or the further north you go, the less threat it is because it's only going to be a tropical storm going the further it goes up, but right now we're looking at Category 3 and this was about a uh, half according to our track, it's about a half hour ago where we we're having this crazy track. R right now our track is just above the Bahamas at Category 3 Continue, gonna hit the North Carolina coast probably about s sometime Saturday as uh, either Category 3 or Category 2. It will change to a Category 2 come Saturday afternoon with uh, gusts of 110 miles an hour. Currently it's uh, Category 3 with 115 so Definitely not too much difference. Uh, we have, and as it goes up, it'll lessen in intensity because of its impact on the coastal sit cities and areas, and it'll weaken to a cat one around 85, 9, 85 90 miles an hour, and then it'll just continue up as a tropical storm after it gets through New England as it goes into the Canadian provinces. As we look at the current, uh, which was about an hour ago, of course, ground speed 14 miles an hour, so it's kind of slowed down in the speed. As right now, the intensity is definitely over the behind is past the Bahamas and moving up but it will next uh, major point will be the North Carolina border around the Outer Banks where it will be a threat for the Carolina coast and then further up So, therefore, 
we are looking at we are still looking at a very intense situation us here at the Mikey report in Phoenixville will not be able to be with you uh, throughout as far as I know throughout Saturday and Sunday well Saturday night and Sunday we might do one Saturday morning before we go over to a different location where we will probably do discussion zone and miss the storm we will do our very best Well, actually, we won't be able to, but we will try. Um, we'll try to do it before the uh, semester begins, or we might do two discussion zones in one week on September fourth, because right, um, Valley Forge Christian College has delayed the start of their fall semester, and I'm sure most colleges across the eastern seaboard are doing just that as well. Across the East Coast are doing that as well as a precautionary measure. I haven't checked any other websites, but I know Valley Forge is delaying the start. So we will definitely keep you informed, keep you up to date with what we have coming in. Uh, we'll try to get you more information as the days and uh, yeah, the hours progress. We'll probably have an update for you tomorrow and maybe early Saturday morning uh, before impact or the potential impact of the storm. So we will continue to keep update updated uh, from my last. Uh, from our last check, we will. Uh, it's going to be probably leaving around Sunday, uh, leaving around Sunday night. But Monday, uh, when once this hurricane leaves, it's going to be gorgeous, gorgeous weather. I mean, low, low 80s, sunny, not a drop even predicted. So that is good news. So I be and that pretty much is everything as of right now. Uh, as I look at our information, so we will be entering September, it looks like, on a good note even though August has been the wettest on record in the Philly area. So, as of right now, this hurricane is definitely the one, the largest that this, air, this area has seen since September 99 when Hurricane Floyd came in. So it has been a while since as we continue the track of it. And we'll be tracking it all weekend long to try to keep you guys informed as to what's going on. So for the Mikey Report, um, I am Mikey Edwards. I'll see you tomorrow. We we will potentially have uh, Miss Sarah Davies. Uh, I asked her. I'm gonna give her the information to kind of keep you guys up to date. Uh, she will kind of be filling in for me as I have the uh, hurricane here. As I will try to keep uh, relaxed. Or and keep safe. So that's everything. I'm Mike Edwards. Good night. We'll see you soon.